boy. Good boy, good boy. You think this one over here loves me for a reason? Well, I do feed him and walk him and sometimes take him on a drive which he loves. But you know, even if I didn't do any of this, these things, he would still love me just as much. Then why do we sometimes hesitate to give back? Well, hello everyone, I'm Aisha and you're joining me for some more heavy petting in Ahmedabad this week, where I'm on my way to meet some very special people who will help answer that question. But before that, here's what else is on the show today. Hena Frido. Hope for strays. Choose your pets. Blog of fame. Ask our doctor. And it's tea time. times have you driven by an injured animal on the street and wanted to help but just not known what to do? Well, the first step is to acquaint yourself with shelters and foundations that help street animals. And today I'm in Ahmedabad to visit one such place. Welcome to the show. This is Harmesh Bhatt and he is the founder of Asha Foundation. The funny thing is that you were a law student in Pune. Yeah, I am the law student in Pune University. <laughs> Where did you make the shift from an academic career to helping street animals? When I am past four years, I am in Pune. At the time, I found so many street dogs on the road. At the time, the in Pune, local based NGO were helped the street dogs. Mm -hmm. Then I think that I want to help with uh, street dogs in my city. I am living in Ahmedabad city, but in Ahmedabad city, no any street animals, hospitals, mm. no birds hospital, no shelters for any street dogs, mm. street animals. And my city is based, animals are suffer a lot. So what is it exactly that Asha Foundation does? Basically, we are working for the street animals. At the time, they are suffering like temperature, cancer, gastroenteritis, rabies. People are calling to the Asha Foundation mm. to help the, provide the treatments, mm. shelter, we are not provide permanent shelters. Right. But the when animals or birds become a sick, they transfer to the shelter. Right. Our vet provide the treatment. When animals and birds will be okay, we release at the same place which we rescued. Okay. So your process is not to turn them into home pets. Mm. You pick the animal off the street, you treat them and you release them yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. But in exception, sometimes the abandoned animals, like we have in kennels number one, mm. it's a Labrador dog. But when the Labrador becomes sick, yes. his owner release on the road. Certain time people call to us and we take the dogs at the shelter, we find good homes and uh, someone adopt the dogs. Through the internet, you've actually managed to get international level of animal doctors to come in and work at your clinic. And from there, they, it's a cyclic process. Every month, there's a new vet. Yeah, every month. Every month, there is a new vet. Like this time, we have one doctor, Dr. Israel mm -hmm. from Spain. He's very expert and he also works with Spain Veterinary Hospital. Mm -hmm. He works for the goat, donkey, mm -hmm. sometimes the dogs, mm -hmm. uh, birds, cats, cats mm -hmm. small animals. There are many government hospitals as well in Ahmedabad which treat street animals, or at least claim to treat street animals. Why don't you affiliate with one of those? Why start off on your own separately? I will tell you one thing. Mm. Human hospitals are not closed on Sunday. Human hospitals are not closed on festivals. Mm. Why? Because human are very important. Mm. Human has one zero at ambulance on the spot service 24 hours, 365 days. Mm. But you go in the government clinic or government hospital, mm. Saturday, Sunday closed, on festival closed. 